either um, RTN readers, RTN 101 readers. Um, I'm Gavin, and the editor is trying to talk me into doing uh, video clips to go along with uh, articles. So, um, while it is possible to be very clear when you rewrite something six or twelve times, doing it off the cuff doesn't always work. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about Intrip. Uh, it's a very powerful utility. It's really what brought RTN out to the mass level. It made it possible as a protocol to move the corrections, uh, even the raw data streams from stations to RTN and from the RTN to the rovers. Uh, nearly every manufacturer has uh, enabled this or implemented this in their uh, data collection software or controllers. And there's a few other things you can do with it, which have taken it to another level. Um, hang on, I've got to think a minute. There's a construction site behind me here in this residential neighborhood after a big flood, a uh, big culvert washed out, and it's being repaired right now. Before they complete it, an as-built process is going to go along with a lot of grade checking so that the next flood doesn't possibly do as much damage. So what I'm doing here is I've got a laptop with Wi-Fi on it and I'm pulling uh, Wi-Fi from somebody's router around here and uh, using the um, NTRIP client GNSS Internet Radio, which is free off the internet, from a, a German outfit called the BKG. It's Bundeskartograf Geodes or something like that. Farfig Nugent, I don't know. But they, they actually authored NTRIP, and they made some free applications online. So I've got that here on the laptop, and I'm going to pull the corrections off the network. And I'm going to pull in a uh, VRS-style correction in CMR Plus and push it out a uh, base radio that the uh, grade checkers are going to use tomorrow. And I hope these folks don't mind me being on their porch. But anyhow... Um, Intrip, what else you can do with it? As I said, it's it's sort of a streaming radio bro uh, protocol. Kind of like when you listen to a ball game on the radio, it's using a, a streaming protocol. And the clever folks at uh, BKG and, and particularly their grad students I had working there went, wait a minute, why don't we do the same thing for uh, GPS data? I hope this dog doesn't bite. Um, Seems friendly. No, no snacks in my pocket, okay? No, okay. Uh, they came up with this protocol and said, let's set it up so it will stream GPS and GPS only, uh, all of the uh, you know, standard formats, RTCM. It's actually accepted uh, as uh, a streaming protocol standard by the RTCM committee of Google, that one. So what else can be done with NTRIP? Um, not only the direct rover to uh, server connections for all of the all of the uh, correction types, uh, you can move single base with it, uh, non-physical or the VRS type style, uh, master auxiliary styles. That's RTCM 3.1 network correction, which uh, goes under a couple of different names: uh, Mac, Max, uh, Three Net. Uh, implemented by different manufacturers. Th these are all possible. Uh, unidirectional and bidirectional as well. And how you can pull off a, a unidirectional, uh, patching it through a radio is if you have some method to get to the internet, that could be a cell phone patched into a laptop, that could be a cell phone with an entrip client on it, that could be a PDA with an entrip client on it that could be any other IP connection, uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, um, you know, park next to a coffee shop. So you pull the corrections from the RTN from there and patch it out through a serial port to a uh, base radio. Now people have taken this even further. The Ordnance Survey of UK had a, a specific radio commissioned to be designed and built. And it was a pair of radios, one for the rover and one for the truck. And they have a cell, uh, like a GSM cell modem built into it. 
they would drive around until they got to where they were getting into a cell hole and they'd park the one truck and leave the radio sitting there. And that would rebroadcast into the cell hole, which the UK actually has a lot of, surprisingly. There are uh, specific units designed for this. Now, uh, someone in Europe built a little unit to pass corrections to, like the mobile mapping vans or hydro outfits. It was a cell modem with NTRIP built into it. You'd program the NTRIP you know, connection with uh, text messaging, and all there was was a serial port to go to or directly to a rover or to another radio. There's a couple of other uh, radio pairs that have the uh, NTRIP client built into them. Um, I think there's a construction one called the SMB 900, a 900 megahertz one, has the NTRIP client built into it. You just need a source of IP to get to it. Um, there's one I think called an RTK bridge. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with uh, NTRIP. Um, and, and it got a lot easier too, because the instructions are, are in English now. Uh, okay, so I've got my connection going, and I better. Uh, I don't think you'll bite. Anyhow, I want to thank uh, y'all for listening to me rambling. I hope you could hear me, and I want to thank whoever these people are for letting me squat on their porch. Nice dog. Bye bye. <laughs>